Hello, Internet. I got a bit of an update for Nexusphere character model. This is going to be version 2.2.0 from 2.1.6, if I'm correct. It's not a huge update, but it is an update, and it's pretty important in terms of features it unlocks. So the main things you'll actually notice are going to be in the menu. You're not going to notice much outside of it. So as a reminder, you rotate both of your controllers like this, and then the menu eventually pops up, just in case you need a reminder for that. There are some minor visual changes that you'll notice. The font is different and the buttons have been changed. I rewrote the underlying button that's used for this and just went with a rounded button style instead of the older design. The rest of the settings still works as before, but there is a new setting down here called Roblox VR Cursor. Something that Roblox includes and enables by default is a different type of cursor. It was a lot different last year and now it looks like this. It allows you to interact with user interfaces and such with it, as well as some other navigation things. I have it disabled as part of Nexusphere character model because this cursor is always visible. There's, It's always on or always off. So when I started doing this update after someone created a GitHub issue for this, I was gonna create a simple toggle for it. Either it's gonna be enabled or disabled. Notice I don't have it anymore. But after looking into it a bit, Instead of having disabled by default and enabled being something that you can turn on, I realized that with some math, I can use a new mode, which is going to be default, called detect. What det detect does is it tries to figure out when you have the main Roblox user interface open, which I'm just going to close this for now. And if you press the menu button, this appears. Notice how I have a cursor, and if I were to get rid of the menu, it disappears reappears, and if I point away, it is not visible anymore, which means I can finally access the menu from inside Nexusphere character model. Notice that microphone above my head, and notice that microphone here. That means voice chat finally works inside Nexusphere character model. I really wish I knew about this before, because if I knew that the changes needed for this would unlock voice chat finally for Nexus VR character model. I would have done this several months ago. I guess I apologize for not learning about this sooner, but it's finally a thing, and now the menu itself works as you would expect. That is kind of it for it. It's mainly just changes to the menu and how the cursor works. But it should unlock quite a bit more, and finally should make voice chat an option. And also, if you don't like to use the menu, you can enable the cursor and use the billboard GUI above to actually enable it and disable it. So that is it for the update. It is live right now, and I will be making the official GitHub release maybe the next day or so after releasing this. If you have been thinking about Nexus Fear character model in a voice chat related game and not having voice chat was the blocker, that's solved. Feel free to add Nexus Fear character model to your game and tag me on Twitter. I want to see more games adopt it. And that is all.